years ago, destruction plagued Los Angeles County. I'm Sierra Encinas, and you can see here that apartment complexes collapsed. Freeways were completely destroyed and fires sparked throughout the area as a result of the Northridge earthquake. So the holiday early morning, I was sound asleep, but boy, I was that uh, initial shock wave hit a house like that and I was up, set up instantly. It was a huge jolt. Pat Abbott felt the quake about 150 miles away from the epicenter in San Diego. But you know, it's been, that's quite a long time. In the last 30 years, the population of the state's grown about 30%. Uh, it's, it's not in people's memories the way it was Back then, 1989, 1994, everybody was aware of earthquakes because everybody in California had felt them. The latest models from USGS show that in the next century, the entire state could feel one. The hot spots, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and right here in San Diego. San Diego is surrounded by fault lines. But on the east side of the Salton Sea, is the San Andreas Fault. But if we come towards San Diego, we cross the San Jacinto Fault, which is a big one, Elsinore Fault, which is a big one. We have the Rose Canyon Fault that runs right through town, basically along Interstate 5. And then we go offshore. We have more faults out there. While technology has improved over the past few decades, Abbott says scientists still cannot predict an earthquake. Instead, they have historical records and tools like ShakeAlert. And you can put this app on your phone, is, is that seismic waves, the first ones travel the fastest but they're not particularly dangerous. It's the second ones that really do a lot of damage. So you can get a warning from the fast moving seismic waves that an earthquake is on the way. He says San Diegans should be concerned, but not to the point they lose sleep over the possibility. San Diegans should be educated and be mentally prepared. Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.